Hey everybody, it's the Film It Corner, Corner of Film It, Corner of Fun, and today I'm going to uh, give a short look at my new line of Z braces I've been working on, and after the overview, I'm going to actually take one off and put one on for y'all to see. So we will turn around and get back to you. We'll cut back. All right, as you can see, um, we got turned around. Now, unfortunately, this table is not as level as it looks. It's why the wood's here, because um, my new braces, which I'm calling simply back and Z, because they are back braces, and that's all they are. They don't have feet, so the printer uses the sheet metal feet and if your area is not level and you don't have levelers like these then you're kind of out of luck you know because if you got a leveler you know you can just screw it to the where it's level but this this doesn't have all that extra stuff it's just the Z and as you can see it's a lot smaller than my last brace that's the foot for my last brace that's the foot for this brace that's a lot smaller which means less print time it's not going to stick out as far this curves in and don't worry this motor clears I've already run them all the way up and down um, the cable chain naturally is only attached by one bolt and pivots so the cable chain is also fine and I made this so that it wouldn't need feet so it's less parts to print it prints quicker now we still have nut covers it just makes it easier to grab it with a uh, pair of pliers or something like that and twist them tight um, got them up here, down here, here. We don't have no cover here for this bottom lock nut. I know it's hard to see. That's why you don't need a cover. It's not easy to see. And the lock nut does not sit on the ground. So the lock nut does lift above the feet just enough that it doesn't cause any interference with the printer sitting. Now this rod is 16 inches long both of them are. I've measured them and I've cut them to that length that is the length I'm going to be recommending and the reason why is as you can see this brace is fit it's fit and I've adjusted it and you know, I still got that much extra, and if I wanted to, I could chop that off. I'm not going to, but I'm recommending enough that I feel is enough so that you can get it fixed, get it tightened down, and then you can cut them if you want. So that's what I am recommending length-wise for both braces. Um, that said, this video will also be on the Free Apes brace as well. They, they're basically the same. The only difference is the bottom's a little bit different because obviously the lock nut's taller. Other than that, they are almost identical. So with that said, I am going to loosen this. I'm going to leave it stock. Um, I'm going to keep the long screws in because, well, I've lost the short screws. But it's always handy to have a little uh, magnet dish on your printer. Got any extra 
stuff you need to throw in there. But uh, M3 by 10 millimeters, you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You need eight of those. So, with that said, we are going to cut, and I'm going to take it off, and we'll cut back. All right, now I've taken one side off. Um, you may think that's cheating, but I say, why take it all off when all I have to show you is one side and you can do the other side. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the way I do it, I do it on both the 5 sixteenths and the 3 eighths. Now, got this piece, and if you can notice, We've only got two screw holes, and you may wonder why that is. And if we uh, zoom in on this, here, here in a minute, we'll see if I can zoom in on it. You'll see that there are three screws there. So there are three screws. Can't tell if it's picking it up or not. It's so dark. As you can see, there are three screws there, but there are only two screw holes in the foot. Well, that's because I've made this brace for both the experienced user and the one that has never taken their printer apart or anything like that. Do you want me to zoom it back out yeah. again? Yeah. Okay, I guess I need to turn so it back. So that way, both the experienced user that just wants to use this brace can use it, and the one that's never taken a screw out of their printer can also use it. So what, what I've done is, if you can notice that, I've put a cutout on the inside for the cap of the middle hex nut screw. And the idea is, well, it makes it easier for anybody to put this together because if you take all three of these screws out, this piece comes free. So we eliminate that by only making you take out two screws. Like I said, I uh, only got the long screws. The uh, short screws have bit the dust long ago for various other projects. Now, anybody that is new, you will have to get your own long screws. And these, like I said before, are just M3 by 10 millimeters long. And you need eight of them. Oh, hold on and we'll see who that is. Alright, all the interruptions aside, now let's get back to this. So the screws go in real easily. And then, if you want to, you can do that right there. And you press it on and screw it in. That's not how I do it. See, and like I said, those holes are big enough that it, you don't have to force the screws through. What I like to do is to take my rod, put my top normal nut on with the nut cover, put my foot on, and then take my lock nut and tighten the lock nut down onto the rod and of course it's a lock nut it's not going to go on there easily so you're going to have to use whatever tools are at your disposal you can use a normal nut if you want to but uh yeah i'm going to use a lock nut to ensure that it stays in place and i just do it to where the i know that it's locked and the edge is right at the edge of the nut so you know it's basically flush I know that it's locked because I had to apply pressure to put it on there it's not going to come off easily 
and we've got this one on so we can tighten the foot down and now we can take our two screws stick them in to their holes see because we left the third one in there this didn't come loose we don't have to deal with lining it back up now we find our two holes I said this board is not help on you a it. no I got it is not on a level piece of wood so and we start screwing them in and I'm gonna get the bottom one start it screwing in and then we can let that go slack and as we Tighten this down, it will straighten out. This is how I do it. If you want to do it your own way, feel free. But I'm just showing how I do it, and now we take our little end to make sure that those are tightened. You don't want to tighten them too hard that you hear it crack, but that's good. So now we got this on here. As you can see, the rod has plenty of slack in it. And now we have to take these two screws out. Now, you may think, well, how is that for a beginner? Well, the way that it's for a beginner is we have four screws in the front on both sides holding this lid on. So, those should be tightened, and whenever you take these two out, this shouldn't come unaligned. So that way a beginner can just take those screws out, and then this shouldn't come loose, and you can just put the screws back in. So, those screws are loose. Take our nut with the nut cover, put it on, run it down, and in case y'all are wondering if for whatever reason you want to use lock nuts, these are deep enough to support lock nuts. I don't use lock nuts, but if you're short on these and you want to go for that hassle, yes, you can use the nut covers with the lock nuts. They are deep enough that they'll fit flush. Now that we got that on there, we got to take our side tower piece. And now this one, the uh, screws do not just push free. So I made these a little bit tighter so that way you have to. Uh, Spread them in, and just so that way you can line it up with them partially out. You can line it up to these holes, and you don't have to worry about them falling out, basically, because they will do that, like on that. So now, see, because we didn't tighten down the bottom, the top can rotate until we find our screw holes and there we go and now we begin screwing you can see them coming through this part right here like I said it didn't come unaligned because we have four screws in the front on this slip on as well now then it can be a little bit tricky using these whenever you are uh, but if you have the nut covers on, that is why I haven't put a nut on this at the top. And you want to make sure that it's tightened. And now we put the top nut cover on. So everything's still loose. And now, basically, you just tighten everything down. So, you know, if you want tighter than that, like I said, nut covers are great for grabbing them with pliers or something and turning it. And then you take your speed square or something. I use a, a drafting 30 60 90 triangle to make sure that these rods are all parallel, well, perpendicular, 
to each other. So, you know, your x is perpendicular to the y, and that's what I use. You can use a speed square or whatever. Um, and then you just tighten these top ones down, and voila, you, you have it installed. You have it, you make sure that your rods are perpendicular. About to say parallel again, that's that dyslexia kicking in. And like I said, if you're using three eighths, same same setup. So pieces are almost identical except for they've been, you know, of course, resized for the bigger rod. So with that said, as you can see that was not nearly as difficult as some of the other braces have you do, including my first brace. But for all you more experienced users, turn it on the side so you can see it. For all you more experienced users, I do plan on making an extension and I'm used to having a scraper holder. I'll show you. Yeah, first first brace I had an extension and I had a scraper holder. I have plans to do that for these, but I want to get the basics done first and out the door and then work on that. And the basics is whatever, you know, uh, somebody that's used to these printers can do or whatever somebody's just got this printer and they want to stiffen up the Z-axis can do. And of course, as you learn, maybe you want to venture up to an Z extension while well, you've learned how to put this on. Well, then you get to learn how to put the Z extension on as well, which is a lot more complicated. And yeah, it's I wouldn't recommend it for a starter, but as you grow, You'll learn your machine, and then you'll you'll want that Z extension. So, hope this has uh, helped you guys out there, and I hope that if you do use this brace, you will leave me some feedback on it. Like I said, I'm working on it. This is by no means finished. It's a work in progress, of course, and both 3 eighths and the 5 sixteenths are almost the, exactly the same and I have plans in the future but I like, to hear, I like to hear people's feedback. I've already had somebody tell me that I should make this flush to the nut covers so yeah plenty to work on it just takes time for me this is this is a learning project right here that's what this was learning to angle in three dimensions rather than just two. So yeah, thanks for watching.